this day and age, we watch our young people, and we've watched them um, <clears throat> be pulled into different directions through radios, music, magazine, clothing, different teachings from the non-tribal society, and we've watched them being pulled away from us, and we've reached out and we've grabbed them and gently took them back into our traditional cultural ways. In the ways of the canoe, there's a lot of good teachings, philosophies, values that help restore the individual to have good lifestyles, healthy choices, wise decision making. When we take our young people out on the canoes and they're paddling, and you'll see some of these people, and they're paddling, their whole body gets very tired. And many people want to wimp out, they're just tired. And then we'll have a skipper who's in the stern of the canoe, and he'll go, a hundred pulls for Uncle Henry, and everybody will pick up that paddle, and they'll dip it into the water, and they'll go, one. And as they're pulling, they're constantly thinking of Uncle Henry. And they realize that Uncle Henry is barely hanging on in his life, and so they keep pulling. And as they're pulling, they focus in on Uncle Henry. And what it is, is, is it is a prayer. What we found out is that many of the tribal people that have been so tired, that they have this resurgence of energy. And they can pull for hours and hours afterwards. And what we believe this does for our people is that when we face hardships in our life, when we feel like, I can't do this anymore, I don't want to go on, that they will tap back into this moment of being on the canoe when they almost didn't want to do it anymore. And they'll know that they can. You can move on. And so the canoe journey has all these elements built into it to help the tribal people.